Hi, uh, we're here at Black Maria Pictures. To test this new Asus GeForce GT 1030 by NVIDIA. In the past, I've worked on many of my other films that have required, you know, heavy editing and effects. And I've always worked, of course, on high-end systems, but we always get to have an opportunity to work on uh, more basic workstations, you know, even editing it on a laptop that has uh, an NVIDIA card. So we're going to test this new Asus GeForce GT 1030 by NVIDIA. Of course, it has two gigabyte GDDR5 video memory, compatible for output with DVI and interestingly HDMI 2.0 standard, which means it can output 4K video. One of the main things we're going to try and do, of course, is use 4K video material and see how it performs in, in terms of even just ordinary playback as well as rendering and editing. Let's begin and install this now on a PC system. So we will unbox this uh, GT1030 NVIDIA card. You know, you can, we have here the driver disk and uh, instruction booklet. Of course, as usual, you have to be very careful in handling the card, making sure there's no <coughs> static. Um, so you have to remove the protective uh, covers of the card's ports and then also if there's a cover on your PC slot. So for our system, we, we have one free PCI Express slot here. Uh, you should have a minimum 300 watt system power supply and at least 350 megabytes of available hard disk space for your drivers. And then, of course, you have to secure the card with a standard screw. Once we've replaced the chassis cover of your PC, uh, you can now connect your monitor cable. As you will see, this has an HDMI 2.0 port. And so you can connect the HDMI cable directly. So quite easily, we can install the uh, NVIDIA display driver. As you will see, it's, it's very easy to install that and easily recognizes uh, the card that had already been installed. So as you can see in the NVIDIA control panel, uh, you, you're given now the opportunity to change your resolution and you can actually even set it to the highest resolution of Ultra HD. Okay, so now we're running Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. We just uh, assembled a series of uh, shots, uh, 4K resolution, uh, raw MPEG code files. Now we will try to test uh, and export and render this series of shots. We can now see that uh, this is definitely a very good setup and complemented by the performance of this GT1030 graphics card. Uh, we can of course also play back our 4K footage with ease and you can see that uh, it has a smooth playback so it helps both in playback and during editing when you're rendering and also reviewing your 4K footage. So in uh, summary, we definitely uh, got a very good performance out of this uh, NVIDIA GT1030 card. You know? Overall, you know, at its most basic, it can really improve your performance you know, on your PC, uh, even with just web browsing, and then with apps like Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, you know, so for a filmmaker like me, that's very important, you know, improve performance in editing, even in just the playback as well as uh, rendering you know, and output. Overall, uh, I would recommend this really for you know, beginning filmmakers, uh, students who are setting up their own editing uh, system on a PC, uh, and you definitely 
get an advantage over the performance of having a dedicated uh, graphics card like uh, the NVIDIA GT 1030 as opposed to having just the integrated onboard uh, graphics you know, on most PC systems. So it's a definite plus that you upgrade to something like the GeForce GT 1030.